Hello, we are back here with Learning Guide 8. We're near the end and we are on Topic 3 now. Topic 3, we are going to look at rational equations and solving them and making a connection between the solution and the graphs, which we call the roots. All right, so let's have a look at the first example here. So we have uh, a function right here, all right, and it's rational because we've got a fraction in it. And we can type that into Desmos, all right, and when we type it into Desmos in the, the Y2 or the one below it, you must put a zero because you want to get this line going across where the front function is is um, crossing these x-intercepts we're looking for. All right, so that's the solution by graphing. So you're just putting one into this guy into the first one, and then y equals two in the second one, and then producing that picture and finding the X intercepts okay so but more importantly I want you guys to be able to do this algebraically all right because you're going to be doing it algebraically more than graphing graphing is just a way to check your solution all right so the first thing we got to do when we're solving it algebraically is we want to find the restrictions okay or the non permissibles So we take the bottom, in this case we have x plus 2 is our denominator. We make that equal 0, we bring it over, and we get that. So we know we cannot have a negative 2, because that will give us a number divided by 0, which we cannot do. Okay, the second step in algebra is you want to isolate the, the rational function. So we're going to throw that guy over and throw that guy over. So we isolate this guy. So now we have that on that side. Now we're going to multiply both sides by the common denominator. Or we can cross multiply, doesn't really matter. So x plus 2, that gets rid of that, times this by x plus 2. All right. So now that gives us up to here. Then we rainbow 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 to get that all right and all i did is i tidied up collecting like terms to get to there and i moved the six over now when you're at this stage here it's just factor you're just going to factor to get the roots and now you look at these roots so the first one we have is x equals negative 1, and the other one is x equals 4. You want to check to see if it matches your non-permissible or your restriction. So in this case, they are both good. So, and we know because we checked it down here graphing, and it gave us two answers. Now I want you to try uh, this one, and you can check graphing, but I want to see the algebra. And then you can pause it now and then check my answer.
Now, once I got these answers here, you got to check graphically, or you can just plug and chug to see if they equal. So I'm going to check by plugging and chugging because next year when you're in university or college, you won't be able to graph too much. So let's check. So I'm going to plug in 14 over 7 minus 7 plus 5, and I'm going to hope it equals 0. So 2 minus 7 plus 5 is 0. So check mark. And then if you do the same here, it's a check mark. So they both work. All right, the last thing now, we are going to look at when we solve rational equations, sometimes you get extraneous roots pop up. So here's a situation. So I have this big guy right up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it algebraically because I said you're not going to get into graphing too much. So let's concentrate on the algebra. So the first step is you find the non-permissible. All right. So I'm taking the denominator, 2x plus 5 equaling 0, moving it over. So 2x equals minus 5 divided by 2. So there's that non-permissible right there. Now I'm going to, um, because I have two rationals here and this guy in the middle, we can't isolate the rationals because we have two rationals. So I'm going to multiply by my lowest common denominator. So my lowest common denominator is right there. And then I'm going to multiply it by every term. You can see it there. Every term gets it. The reason we do this, then we get to cancel out. So you can see that this cancels that, and this 2 cancels that, that cancels that. So we get rid of the fraction. Now what I did, I took this 2 and multiply there to get 4x times 2x plus 5. And then I rainbowed in and in to get um, this right here. And what I did here, I took this times this to get that guy. And on the other side of the equation, I was just left with this x plus 5. So that's there. Now we're going to move everything over to create a quadratic function. And you can see that our quadratic function, if I move those guys over, is that. Okay, then I did my triple play or my decomp, whatever you prefer, and out came these two answers. Now this is where it is called extraneous. Because if you notice now, Remember, we did our extraneous root at the beginning. We got this guy, and we got a solution that matched it. That's called extraneous, so we don't put it down. You just let me know it's extraneous. And in the answer box, this is the only answer. And you can see graphically when we graph it, it's crossing at 0.75. All right. So the last thing I want you guys to do is just try a question down here. And I want you to do an algebraically, and you can check graphically. All right.
All right, so there is the solutions. And you notice that this and this match, so this is extraneous. And this is the only answer. 